Hello, and welcome to the RPGTO video tutorial using an image as a map. Now, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go get a map. I tend to use the WOTC Map a Week archive. Um, for one thing, I know that they are freeware, so no troubles there, especially when I am making a tutorial. So, type in Map a Week in the search box, go to the archive, and then find a map. Um, there are a huge number of maps available. So even if that's not your default site like mine, it does pay to take a look and see what they've got. They also have it in very nice thumbnails. So I find that very, very handy to be able to look at a map and know that it's not what I want. So War Tower Warden Skill Hall, um, we're going to want to download it. Um, if you can get it in better than 72 DPI, absolutely you want it in the best DPI possible. This doesn't come in any other choices, so we're taking it. All right, the first thing you want is, well, that I want is actually I'm going to um, expand the image. Uh, oh, well, first save it. Save it to your desktop so that you can find it easily. So there we go. Saving it to desktop, naming it something that I can remember. War Tower, Warden's Guild Hall. Um, definitely you want to save it as a JPEG file. Do not save it as a PNG. The same map as a PNG is much, much, much bigger file. And size matters. If the file is too large, you will not be able to import it, and all that work goes down the drain. So PNG. All right, so go ahead and upload it up to GIMP. I use GIMP. And... Here we have it. So now we want to expand the image. I am definitely going to blow this up as much as I possibly can. You want to blow it up as large as you can without getting fuzzy lines. So as you can see, I've got a lot of it off the map, but once I blow it up, I can tell that that very lovely white line up at the top is not my map line. Okay, underneath that dark line that's not nearly as visible is your actual grid line for your map. Um, over here on the right hand side, a lot of that line is not visible, so I'm going to have to cut that off. You want a visible, nice, sharp line. Okay, so once I blow it up, once I have all of that, I'm going to want to cut the image. All of these maps need edited. Um, for one thing, you are not able to work the placement. It will place on the RPGTO table on the upper left-hand corner, period, the end of it. So if your map is not edited correctly, you will not have any other choices after that. So. Here we go. I also, I use the um, GIMP lines to place my map as perfectly as I possibly can so that I have one edge um, that's very, very easy for me to, to work from. So I go over here, I cut my map. Again, using my nice sharp line, the one that I absolutely know where it's at. So, once I have that as perfectly as I possibly can take it, then I want to go to Image, um, Fit Image to Selection, Scale the Image, and counting my squares as closely as I possibly can, I want to count my squares. I need to know that 50 pixels per square is what the RPGTO table is. So, I count my squares. I generally only count one side. Um, as carefully as possible and I count the shorter side just saying alright so once I do that I've counted my squares I've multiplied it by 50 and I scale the image alright once I do that I find out oh, I do not have it cut correctly so I go back to selection tools I go back to rectangle select and I work with it again um, I very often go ahead and zoom in 
and take a better look and see, okay, where am I incorrect? So zooming in, again, much uh, larger than I can actually see uh, the entire map, and that's okay because you can um, cut it anyway, and it's far more important that you cut it correctly. So on that right-hand side, I see where I've made my mistake. I'm definitely several pixels over. So going to recut my map. It's not actually unusual for me to scale this to about, you know, 200, 300%, and then just float my um, rectangle select over there. And what I mean by that is that as long as I am you know, going right or going down, the image will very, very, very slowly travel to that direction and I can uh, cut it correctly. So fit, se uh, rectang fit selection to and it's under image. Go ahead and put in my pixel height and see where I'm at with my width you'll see that we are still a bit off. And again, working with it to scale it correctly. Really zooming in. Still a bit off on that right hand corner. image, no, tools, rectangle select, and one more time. Not unusual at all for me to have to cut several times. Not unusual at all for me to, to need to take a better look at my map. Again, because very often with these images, there will be a line that looks awesome, looks it like it's what you need, and is more than definitely not. So scaling the image, and again, that's under image, scale, 50 pixels per square, so count and then multiply by 50. And as you can see, for this tutorial, this map is giving me trouble. So we're going to use it after this cut. So once again, tools, selection, rectangle select, carefully cutting once we have the lines lined up where we want them we go back to image scale image to selection and we're going to take it whatever it is this map is not about you know how many times can I cut this map this is how to use an image as a map so scale the image uh, one pixel off. One pixel is good enough. I don't really like them more than one pixel, but one pixel is good enough. All right. Export the image. You want to export it, not save it. Um, I'm replacing it because I've done this uh, before to make sure this was a good map. So then I go to map. I'm going to get a new map so I can show this to you. Go to images, upload an image. So upload the image. Once you upload it, it's going to cost you to upload it. Uh, six or ten, I don't remember. And once it tells you that the image is uploaded, you can use it as a map. You can also uh, view it or share it, um, but either way, it's going to lag your players out. So I upload it, and I'm going to put tokens on it for you so that you can see. When the image is edited, then you have your tokens fitting inside the lines exactly right all the way to the bottom corner uh, let's put him in a box where you can see that just a little more clearly all the way to the bottom corner you've got your tokens fitting your image now let's go to other maps this is an unedited map looks awesome 
um, not and as an image to give a player a view, yeah, fine, but not usable as a battle map. Tokens don't fit, and this is actually one of the better ones. When you edit that image, you lose the edge, but it still looks good. Okay, and your tokens now fit. So line of sight, AOEs, all of them able to be done. This one was, uh, I think, six pixels off, and it's showing, but still usable. All right, Cobalt Warn, another edited map, or is it? Yes, edit it, and you can use it. You lose the rocky edge, but that's okay. This is an image, Sarlona, that is not ever going to be used as a battle map, but this is something you can do to show your, your players. I would simply share that um, as a link or put it in my Dropbox public folder. Sewer pipe black market, you can tell it is unedited. You cannot tell when you import it um, what size it is unless you've already looked at it in GIMP, um, but not usable. Once you edit it, then you can use it. Your uh, squares show. Now here I did not cut that left hand side correctly and over on the right hand side it shows. As I said the left hand side it always imports to the upper left. You have no choices, you have no ability to manipulate so when that's wrong the whole map is off. The larger the map the more that will show. So this is how to use an image as a map. Happy gaming!